Miata that uh, a, a couple uh, Lemons guys I know out here built. Um, it was a wrecked uh, spec Miata, and I, you know, I think it was, you know, I wasn't there for the creation of it, so I only hear the stories. But uh, you know, uh, it was I think one of those, you know, having a couple of beers one night and getting crazy ideas, and uh, they came up with the idea of a uh, snowmobile engine with a snowmobile CVT and a Miata, and they built the damn thing. And uh, damn, that thing's fun. So the car is a 700cc three-cylinder two-stroke with a pull-start engine out of a Yamaha Mountain Max uh, snowmobile. It's got a belt drive CVT transmission. So you put your right foot in it and it revs to about 9,000 RPMs and runs. You just brake with your left foot. <laughs> Don't back out. of this car is it's actually quite a bit like a uh, uh, a sprint go-kart uh, where you know you only have a throttle and a brake and a steering wheel and that's basically it um, and very few gauges because uh, there's no electronics uh, so there's not much to monitor it's basically just really you can really really focus on your race craft and and uh, just driving the car you don't have to worry about blip shifting you don't have to yeah although that's very fun in, in other cars that I drive that's that's very fun but uh, this one, the performance is, is really, really good um, because you don't have to shift. You never have a down power period. You always are power on. Um, so it's incredibly fast, uh, very fun to drive, and it's very simple to drive. Uh, so it, it makes for a very, very fun race car. You know, John Pagel described it best. Um, and I, I'll, I'll try and paraphrase him here or use his words, but he said, you know, when you drive that car out on track and you're racing people, it makes you feel like God. Because the car is so light, it's like, you know, 1,400 pounds. I mean, the, the, the whole drivetrain for the engine and the CVT, I think they told me is 85 pounds maybe? Uh, and it uses the CVT out of it, out of the snowmobile. So it, it's basically a snowmobile uh, transmission uh, spliced in uh, to just a drive shaft. Uh, to run the Miata, so it's uh, it's surprisingly simple, uh, but it's taken a lot of development to get it uh, very quick and reliable. Mostly reliable has been the big issue. Right. Yeah, the drive belts. Now, originally, um, I mean, I, I think I, I think I started driving the car on like the sec its second race, I think it was, and it was still having problems with blowing belts off the thing because the CVT and the snowmobile transmission has a, a drive belt on it, and. Um, and the problem was they you know, blow the belts up, but I, I think that's largely fixed now with um, alignment of the primary and secondary parts of the clutch that the belt sits between. And keeping that aligned um, seems to have, you know, cross our fingers, solved that problem. But, you know, we'll find out by the end of this weekend. <laughs> What makes Lemon so attractive to people is that uh, it's it's accessible. I think Lemons does a good job of, of a lot of things, right? I mean, you know, they cater to a lot of different um, uh, people that are here for a lot of different reasons, right? I mean, they do a pretty good job of you know catering to teams that like to run up front and are out there to win. Um, they do a great job of catering to teams that just want to build unusual cars and whatever you want to call them, and and bring them out on track. They do a it's it, they do a great job with people that like enjoy 
you know, costume parties and Halloween. Um, you know, and it's this weird mix that all happens to work and they basically do a great job of catering to everyone and they also do, I think, a really great job of of um, training new drivers as well. It really turns into kind of like a family because there's a lot more to a weekend than just what you're doing on the track, right? I mean, you know, there. okay, so there'll be there'll be um, teams that set up and have dinner and have people over, you know, make dinner for people even if they don't know. There'll be teams that blew up engines and exploded rear ends and ran into walls and they'll be out fixing cars and people will be helping them fix cars. People they didn't even know will, will be there helping them. Um, you know, there'll be wild, there'll be parties, there'll be, there's everything that goes on here at night. Um, and, you know, that's I think what helps build sort of the sense of uh, community. I've repaired door bars, I've repaired seats, I just built a differential bracket or rebuilt a differential bracket. We've got this out of a Chevy powered uh, 928 Porsche okay. with a Ford differential. Okay. They, they call it the poor four lay. <laughs> and so I've been staying busy this weekend. Favorite memory of this car? Uh, well, <laughs> there's, there's many, many of them, but uh, one of them was that uh, for a BS inspection uh, a couple of years ago, my Alaskan Malamute dragged the car into BS inspection for us. Oh, really? Because it has, it's sort of a, uh, a Balto is the name of a dog that was the dog that led the uh, Iditarod right? Alaskan uh, dog sled team to Nome for the first time. Uh, and I had an Alaskan Malamute, so that was, that was kind of special. My personal favorite, the most goofy lemons car I've seen, um, that's a good question actually. I've, I'm sure you've seen a lot. Yeah, I've seen quite a few. There's, there's a, I think it's a Volkswagen GTI running around here, the Jackalope, okay. the rabbit. It's got a cowboy sitting on top oh, with yeah, the, the rope sure. going. Yeah, a pretty extreme car, but yeah. it's pretty funny. Yeah. I, I like that kind of thing. <laughs> May not be fast, but it's certainly got good livery. It's like you're a gnat, like a supercharged gnat, and you're annoying everybody out there.